Hey what's up youtubers, today I am going to show you a quick video that I'm recording in my backyard. It's a little bit windy today in Vegas as you can see but I want to compare the Drift 720 with uh, the Sony AS20 that I just recently purchased. Now uh, yeah I'm going to compare apples and horses a little bit because the Drift 720 is just a 720 and the Sony AS is 1080p and it has a lot of bells and whistles. I'm going to compare the picture quality in between them and I'm going to give you my first impression after the first use. This is the first time I took it out on a ride with me and I want to show you the quality of the picture and uh, how superior this uh, particular uh, camera is. A couple of things that I've noticed uh, by having it, uh, one of the things that it does not have the drift has this lens in the front that rotates 360 degrees where the Sony doesn't. So it's very limited where you could mount it on the, um, the motorcycle. Also it's a lot smaller as you can see it's a lot smaller versus the drift. So they don't compare to each other as far as uh, uh, thickness go. But drift has a couple of innovations that uh, make, uh, make the Sony, um, sh uh, Sony maybe should adopt them. So. Uh, yeah, just enjoy this video, uh, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, I'm going to give you some footage from today's ride and see how much you really, really enjoy it. But yes, this is a, this is a true comparison between two cameras, one is a dinosaur and the other one is as good as it gets. First things first, this is what you want to know about it. So, mounting the camera, drift plus more flexible, so you will be able to put the drift on any side of the helmet because of the adjustable lens in the front which is 360 degrees adjustable this uh, drift will be able to be always level with the ground versus the Sony which you could only put it you could only put it either on the top or either on the bottom so that was uh, the, the first downside of it uh, right now I'm actually running uh, without the image stabilization software the quality of the picture is absolutely great. This is 1080p, 30 frames a second, and the quality is just absolutely amazing. So there's no question about it, the picture is great. Yes, I am running uh, no video stabilization right now, so I'm running 170 degrees field of view right now, which uh, that's why you could still see the handlebars a little bit, and also uh, I think it's angled enough so you could actually see the trail where I'm actually going. So that part of the camera it is absolutely good. I like it without stabilization. Um, it's, uh, it, it gives you a better understanding of how hoopy and how bad the things are. Uh, but it is mounted on top of my helmet, so it's definitely uh, not the best spot for it. It's a little bit too high, so you cannot see the handlebars very well, and you can't really, really see the horizon as good. So if I lift it up a little bit, you can't really see the motorcycle. So it's definitely something that I'll have to work on. Uh, things that I absolutely love about is the fact that uh, even if the camera is off, if you push the record button in the back, it automatically turns on, it takes about maybe two seconds and then it starts recording automatically. So there is no question about it. It is a, a, a huge improvement over drift, which you have to push the power button, wait about 30 seconds and then push the play, uh, start recording button to actually start recording. So uh, you're not going to miss uh, um, stupid you know footage uh, because the camera is dumb the drift is definitely um, doesn't have an upper hand on the Sony as far as that goes so that part I absolutely love uh, the speaker built into the camera is not as loud as I would like it so I don't, I don't really hear uh, very very well when it's on and off but the button in the back doesn't really, really fail so the truth is that uh, as soon as I push the button the, uh, the camera starts recording or starts recording so that's, that's pretty, pretty good if the engine of the motorcycle is off it actually sounds uh, pretty good uh, so you could actually uh, clearly hear it the microphone on the camera it is not that great uh, especially when you uh, move your hand around it has a little bit of a whistling noise so that's something that uh, definitely uh, an, an internal microphone uh, will not be able to do very well. An external microphone is possible, but as Everright said and all the other guys that have it, it's hard to put one on and keep it in the casing that protects the lens. So you can't really have a uh, best of both worlds. Um, it's a little bit harder to mount at that point. So it's definitely that uh, will be something that uh, you will just have to figure it out. 
I uh, please stay to subscribe to my channel. I will definitely work on this one. I'm going to try to find the best solution for the best position to get it mounted. Everide has a great idea to put in front of the helmet, and I'm going to try to see if I could copy his idea and uh, maybe uh, make it a little bit better. But uh, so far, this camera, uh, as far as the quality and the functionality, is absolutely great. I wish you would have um, a lens that turns around like the Drift does. Unfortunately, that's a design that is unique to Drift and uh, Sony just never really figured it out. Uh, because of that, the uh, camera it's, uh, can only be mounted either uh, upside up or upside down, so um, those are a couple of downsides that this uh, particular camera has. Now, picture quality, there is no question about it, this camera is great. I'm running 30 frames per second right now, but I actually can do 60 frames at uh, 1080p, so it's a great camera. I'm going to put a little bit of a footage that I shot uh, back in my, uh, my yard uh, with the two cameras sitting next to each other, and I'm going to actually show you exactly how good they really are, and you will be surprised to see how, how, how much better, how much of an improvement uh, for my channel and for my video quality I'm going to see just by switching to this camera. Uh, for $120 on eBay with free shipping to your house, this is a great camera. I absolutely love it for, for that particular price. Uh, if it would have been a $300 camera, maybe I would have expected a little bit more, but for a $200 camera, the, the colors are good. Everything is, is really lovable about this uh, camera. Uh, with that being said, let me put that uh, footage uh, next to each other and uh, let's try to, to analyze the picture a little bit. Okay, so these are two snapshots made out of the video. This is the drift. This is a snapshot out of the video. While I was recording, I just took it out of the video. And I'm going to show you another one from the Sony. This is the Sony snapshot from the same exact area. As you can see, there's a huge difference uh, from the drift to the Sony. From the color, uh, which is a lot more fluorescent on the drift, and I'm going to flip in between them real quick for you. Uh, so the drift is a little bit more fluorescent. The Sony is a lot more natural colors. Also the details. You can definitely see better details from the uh, uh, on a Sony camera than on a drift camera. So the case does have the tendency to accumulate dust inside, so you have to have some kind of a cloth. You can always clean in between the lens and the case protector. So that's something that definitely you will have to uh, keep handy. Um, but theoretically, if you don't have to change the batteries, you'll be able to just put the camera in. Uh, at home and then uh, for a couple of hours you'll be able to record. But yes, by the way, I've actually recorded about two hours on the battery today at 1080 uh, full resolution. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy another battery. So here's the conclusion. Better camera, absolutely yes. Better quality, absolutely yes. Will you have to figure out where to mount it? Yes. It's going to be something that uh, that's a big con on it because it can only be mounted upside down or upside up. And that's uh, a little bit annoying because you have very, very little flexibility. But uh, that's a very, very low downside uh, compared to what uh, the camera can do for the money you spend for it. So, if you are in the market for a Sony AF series and you are thinking about saving a dollar, uh, the Sony AS20, I think, is going to do everything else you need. I'm going to come back with some more uh, details as far as uh, how the camera performs and how, um, how I'm going to get uh, use out of it. Um, this was the first video that I took. Uh, this is as raw as possible. I didn't even know if the camera is pointing in the right direction. It turned out that the 170 degree field of view is great. I'm going to play a little bit of a video for you right now from uh, image stabilization uh, option to see how it compares to uh, no image stabilization. So let me get to that point real quick. Okay, this footage has been taken with the image uh, stabilization uh, option on where the field of view is reduced to 120 degrees and I can tell you one thing, I absolutely hate it. So yes, the picture is a lot smoother but uh, you could see so much uh, less compared to what you were seeing before. I don't know if I want to lose those uh, 50 degrees angle on the camera because uh, you can't really see horizon very very well, you can't see your handlebars very very well so the position of the camera definitely affects the, the field of view. Uh, the terrain looks like as smooth uh, as concrete and uh, it doesn't, uh, you lost that uh, feel of how jumpy and how gnarly the things really, really are. I don't know if I uh, really want to record like this or I just want to record it with no stabilization and just to use the stabilization software in case the footage gets really, really bad. But absolutely, it feels like I'm gliding right now and I'm riding in a wash with hoops and 
and all kinds of rocks and stuff like that. So uh, as you can see, the, the front wheel is disappearing out of the picture. The image stabilization software basically compensating for all that wobble that goes into my head. Um, to be very honest with you, I don't know if I really, really like it. I don't think it's going to be an option that I'm going to use. I uh, I will be uh, doing some more research as far as this one goes, so because of that I want you to stay subscribed to my channel. Uh, I am going to definitely give you some more details later on. Uh, as I said, don't forget to subscribe, stay uh, subscribed to Vegas Romania.